that your chihuahua? If your chihuahua growls and snarls at other people, other dogs, all of these behaviors may stem from only one thing. In this video, you're gonna find out what that one thing is and how you can change it. And if you stay till the end, I am gonna tell you about a free workshop that you won't wanna miss. Hi everyone, I'm Linda. This is Winston. I'm owner and editor of ChiChisAndMe.com and of this channel. I am mom to four beautiful chihuahuas. But not only that, I have over 25 years experience raising and training chihuahuas. And I am so passionate about chihuahuas that I have researched and studied the chihuahua breed for many, many years. And what I've learned, I want to share with you so you and your chihuahua can live the best life ever together. If you love chihuahuas, if you're interested in their health, nutrition, training, behavior, all of these things we discuss right here on this channel. So please to consider subscribing. Before you go, be sure and say hello to everybody, Winston. Do you growl and snarl at people? I've never heard him growl and snarl at people. Our cat, Lucy? That's a different story. He has growled at Lucy when Lucy is about three times his size. But in his defense, Lucy, our cat, likes to tease the dogs, doesn't she? Yeah, she likes to tease you, doesn't she? Mm -hmm. Say goodbye. Is your chihuahua a shy, nervous chihuahua? Or a happy, confident, outgoing little chihuahua. In this video, you're going to learn how you can transform your shy and nervous chihuahua into a happy, confident, and outgoing little chihuahua. So let's get started. A shy and nervous, fearful chihuahua is usually one with behavior issues. Barking, growling, and other aggressive behaviors are most often caused by or stem from one thing. That one thing is lack of socialization. And you know what? Your chihuahua does not have to be a puppy to begin the socializing process. So if you adopted an adult chihuahua or rescued a chihuahua as an adult, and he or she has already has some behavior issues, it's not too late. Socializing your chihuahua as a puppy, as an adult, whatever, is the number one most important thing you can do for your chihuahua. Next after that is training. Socializing your chihuahua is especially important for chihuahuas because they can be fear aggressive. So if they're fearful and shy, then a lot of times they resort to aggression. Socializing your chihuahua will not only help with most behavior issues, but it will also help transform your chihuahua from a shy, nervous chihuahua to a happy, confident, and outgoing one, which is what we all want, isn't it? It is true that the very best time to socialize a chihuahua or any dog is from birth to four months. The reason that's the best time is because from birth to four months, that's when your chihuahua is most curious about the world around him. And so because they're curious and they're not yet afraid of things, it's the best time to introduce them to the world that they live in. And if you do, that's when they will develop an outgoing personality. That's when they become confident a little canine clown that you can show off for all your friends and family. And they'll love learning and finding out new things. But after the first four months, if the socialization process has not yet begun, they become more cautious and they become more afraid of the world around them and nervous around anything new. And a chihuahua that is afraid, shy, nervous, may resort to aggression. It's the only way they know how to scare off whatever it is that is scaring them. Well, Linda, you may be thinking, that's all well and good, but I got my chihuahua as an adult, already with some behavior issues. Now what do I do? That 
is a good question. I also have recently adopted three adult Chihuahuas. One was nine when I adopted him, that's Winston, and Lily and Cora were both seven when I adopted them. So I can tell you it is not too late. Helping them to overcome the fears that they've already developed can be very challenging and it can be difficult. It will take lots of time and lots of patience. So you, you have to be willing to put in that time and be willing to spend that much time with your Chihuahua, socializing them and being patient with them as they gradually learn to overcome their fear. Think of socializing your Chihuahua as a game with only two rules. Number one, never ever ever show any attention to your Chihuahua when they are displaying their fear by aggression. Do not pay them any attention. It's normal for us, especially if we're out on a walk, say, and a bigger dog comes along and your chihuahua starts barking and snarling and snapping and he's very afraid, it's our instinct to pick them up and want to soothe their fears and to calm them down. But I am telling you that in that moment, that is the very worst thing that you can do. Try to avoid doing that because what you're actually doing is telling your chihuahua in, with your uh, body language and your tone of voice, you are saying to your chihuahua, yes, you have something to be afraid of. That is only going to reinforce their fear. Rule number two of the game of socializing is always, always praise and show lots of attention and affection to your chihuahua when they are brave. Sometimes our dogs may be afraid of something that we think is silly. For instance, we're out on a walk and your chihuahua sees a turtle, but he's never seen a turtle before and that scares him. Is it going to hurt him? So you're out on a walk and he sees this turtle and he may become visibly nervous, but he slowly, with a lowered body posture, he'll slowly kind of crawl up to it, maybe jump back, crawl back, jump back, crawl back up to it. And then noticeably he relaxes. You know what? Your chihuahua just overcame a fear all by himself. Praise him for it. Let him know he did a good job. He was so brave. And don't forget, I keep promising, but it is true. I have a video coming soon, answer to viewers questions. If you have a question you want me to answer on that video, put your question in the comments below and I'll do my best to include it. While you're at it, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell so that you'll be notified of my upcoming videos. So how do you go about socializing your Chihuahua as an adult? How do you go about transforming them from a shy and bashful and afraid, fearful Chihuahua into a happy, confident and outgoing Chihuahua? Expose your Chihuahua to all different environments, all different animals and people, objects that he may come across in his new world with you. Do you like to travel? Well then be sure and get him used to riding in the car, uh, used to a crate, like if you're going to take him on a plane ride, make sure that he's used to and comfortable with being in a crate before you go on that trip. Do you like camping? Then expose your chihuahua to all the things that he or she may come across while you're camping. Tents, fire, water. Do you like to hike? Condition him to perhaps riding in a backpack. Remember your chihuahua won't be able to walk as fast or as far as you can. You do this in small sessions at a time and you work your way up to the actual camping trip or the actual plane ride. So how? <laughs> I'm getting to it, everybody. So how do you do that? By conditioning training. When you first adopt an adult Chihuahua, the first thing you wanna do is to watch him carefully. Make note of things that he is afraid of. For instance, he may be terrified of thunderstorms, 
But he's also afraid of rain, just not in the same degree as he is afraid of thunderstorms. So you start with the things that your Chihuahua is mildly afraid of. And then as your Chihuahua gradually overcomes the smaller fears, then you work up to the more intense fears. And that way, each time that he overcomes a fear, no matter how minor, as you work your way up, each time he or she overcomes a fear, he or she will become more confident. And that will make it easier when you get to the big stuff. The next thing you do is you learn your Chihuahua's tolerance level. What that means is the exact moment right before your Chihuahua's fear becomes overwhelming and that's when he starts to bark, growl, snarl. You want to come as close to it as possible without it actually happening. Never allow him to get to that point where it becomes overwhelming. Go as close as you can and then back off from whatever it is. If it's an object, turn around and go in the other direction. If it's a person and a dog coming towards you, you turn around and walk in the other direction. And then you do this in increments at a time. And slowly you go a little bit closer, a little bit closer, a little bit closer. And each time you praise them that they were brave and then you turn around. This will eventually, it will change his perception from something he is fearful of to something that is more pleasant. If your Chihuahua is afraid of nail trims or baths, trips to the vet. You can watch this video right here for more on how to condition train them in those specific areas. If you gradually and slowly show your Chihuahua that whatever it is that he or she is afraid of is not really scary, you will also see him gradually transform from being a shy and nervous and fearful Chihuahua to a happy, confident Chihuahua. As I said, it's going to take time. So many times we as people lose patience. We don't have the patience that we should have maybe. We watch TV programs on dog training where you see this dog transformed in 30 minutes. I'm telling you that's not gonna happen. It may take months and months and months for your Chihuahua to overcome a fear and it's something that you have to continue with. So if you don't put in the time, then don't expect it to happen. But if it's something that your Chihuahua is really, really afraid of, something that you come in contact with on a regular basis, it is so worth the time, the effort, and the patience to help your Chihuahua to overcome that fear. You will then gradually see your Chihuahua's natural sassy personality come out. Okay, I told you that at the end of this video, I would tell you about a workshop that you may be interested in. Training a Chihuahua to overcome a bad behavior, as I said earlier, can be time consuming, it can be challenging, and it can be difficult. Sometimes we just need professional help. So where do you find that professional help? I'm gonna put a link in the description below to a free workshop that is an introdu introduction to a 10 week online training course. I took this course myself and the reason I did is so that I would know whether or not it was something that I felt comfortable recommending to my viewers. After taking this 10 week course, I do feel that it would be very helpful helping you to learn some techniques that you can use to help your Chihuahua overcome so many things. It's a 10 week course, you take it at your own pace. What I really love about this is that you also have access, at certain times you have access to the trainers themselves where you can ask questions and you can get further instruction. Of course, the course, the entire 10 week course is not free, but the workshop that introduces you to it, it tells you how it works, it tells you more about the actual course, and you may learn a thing or two in that free workshop. And it's free, you're not under any obligation to purchase the course, so why not go check it out? The link is in the description below. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got some benefit from it. If you did, please let me know in the comments below. And don't forget that subscribing, liking, sharing, and commenting, all these things help me to continue bringing you this valuable Chihuahua information and it helps others to find this channel. So until we meet again, right back here on this channel, my now four Chihuahuas and I wish you many, many happy tail wags and lots and lots of sloppy Chihuahua kisses. Until next time, bye. Thank you.